Hi there guys, here is Cat Diving with a new guide from Diablo 3. Today I'm going to present you my method to finish Tournament 10 Rift in 2-3 uh, minutes. As maybe you saw in my previous guide, uh, I've decided to divide my video into parts. In my first part I will tell you everything you have to know about the set, gear, skills, passive, paragon points and of course item from Ku. In the second part I am going to present you some footages from my gameplay in order for you to see and uh, understand better what I am saying now. So uh, for this to be done I will present you my build. It's not exactly very complicated uh, so it can be done by very very many players. So, let's start. For this build I use the Unholy Essence set. Why? Because I can move fast and deal a ton of damage in a very short time. For this build, the 6 pieces, uh, on, on gloves you need dex, critical hit damage, critical hit chance and maybe attack speed if you want to go um, very glass cannon. I use Vit because I do not have uh, any better gloves. For uh, shoulders uh, I, I recommend you to, to have Dex, Vit, Resist uh, and resource all resource co costs. Also uh, you can change Resist to all elements into cooldown reduction if you have the need but I do not recommend it. As for the helm, Dex, Crit and Vit. They are the basic one. Uh, if you are lucky enough, on the secondary you could find re reduced duration of control impairing effects by some percent. On the chest you, you need Dex, Vit and regenerate life per second. As for this build, it is very very important to have uh, as maximum as maximum discipline as you can have. So uh, you have to put some um, discipline where you can. The chest is one piece where you can put discipline. So as you can see on my secondary, I have some fiery resistance. This doesn't. This is not very very important to me, but 10 maximum discipline is very important. On pants, same, uh, with dex, regenerate life per second, and, and for feet, dex, vit, maybe arm or whatever, and uh, increase multi-shot damage. As for weapon, uh, you should use Young's uh, recurve, which is the best uh, bow for this kind of di for this build. Mine's ancient and with stats quite good. Again, please look at secondary. There uh, mi must be discipline points there. Mag I have ten from twelve. Yeah, ten from from twelve. It's okay. Also, uh, the quiver is very, very important. Um, you must use Dead Man's Legacy. Um, this hits enemies below 60% twice. Uh, this 60% can vary between 50 and 60. I have max. And also, tw uh, 12 maximum discipline. Again, very, very important for this build. Uh, you, don't, you don't want to to change this but also you want to have increased multi shot multi shot damage the last one from primary by 90 92% in my case which is very very good uh, as belt i'm i'm using witching hour because it has a lot of damage uh, as dex attack speed and critical hit damage uh, Again, if you are not feeling very confident in playing 
this glass cannon you could use uh, reduced damage from melee attacks by 25 uh, 25 uh, string of years i mean because uh, it can give you much uh, uh, a lot a lot of vitality more as rings i use focus and restraint nothing special here as and as amulet i use the immunity poison amulet as wrists i i use wrap of clarity um if you want you can try using nemesis because when you have find the shrine you, you can obtain a pack of elites and chances to to get <coughs> more death breath uh, legendaries go up okay uh, my paragon points are quite simple um, dex uh, as core I uh, go uh, I went with dex how much movement movement speed you need uh, in offensive you should put your points in critical hit chance critical hit damage attack speed and cooldown reduction you may wonder why I do not have full points in critical hit damage uh, well because I have enough critical hit damage and I wanted to increase my cooldown reduction uh, you can choose the way I said the first time or the way I do it now um, I recommend you to, to increase your criti critical hit damage first because um, being at a low level, I mean Paragon, uh, you might have some problems dealing with Elite and uh, Reef Guardian. As defense, you go resist all, armor, life and then life regeneration and utility, you can use Area damage is the first one now, resource cost reduction, life on hit, and gold find. Okay, the skills you as as primary. I use evasive fire. You could use focus, uh, which is cold, and uh, um, increase hatred gen generated to seven. But uh, another option is to use hardened which uh, instead of back flipping your armor is increased by 25 percent for three seconds again if you don't feel very comfortable playing t and rifts can use this <coughs> this rune my primary damager is multi-shot with arsenal rune because i can fire three rockets at nearby enemies uh, that each deal 300% weapon damage as fire. We need, of course, for moving fast, we need a kiting method. Uh, for this one, I'm using Vault with uh, all known and all loved tumble rune. Vengeance with speed rune because I gain 10, 10 ha hatred <coughs> per second this is the this is the spell uh, for what for why uh, for for this spell I need the most cost reduction or cooldown reduction sorry preparation it's a very very important uh, skill in this build because you will use it with invigoration rune which permanently increases maximum discipline by 20 and for a bit of damage I use mark of death with contagion okay as passive I use ballistics because my multi shot fires three rockets and ballistics increases the damage of rockets by 100% ambush because I want to have a burst of damage by using ambush I deal 40% increased damage to enemies above 75% health uh, which is nice and I repeat is a burst of damage tool of the week 
increased damage against load or shield enemies by 20% and thrill of the hunt which slows m enemies when I use my hatred spender um, <clears throat> if you want to play a bit defensive and not taking so much damage you could also use may maybe instead of ambush you could use steady aim but um, as you will see in my uh, gameplay I've uh, decided to to not use it because I'm I might be in that 20 or 10 yards uh, range okay so okay uh, the almost forgot I have to present you my uh, <coughs> gems I use uh, Bane of Trap which in my opinion is the best ring as I said in my previous guide now I use Bane of Powerful because I gain that 20% increased damage uh, against after killing a pack of elites and also Bane, uh, Bane of Thrican because I can kill uh, Elite and uh, Rift Guardian quite fast. Okay, as for Kanai Cube, I'm using Dawn because it's my cooldown of Vengeance by 65%. Um, I could have used Calamity instead because enemies hit by me become marked for death. Um, but in um, many trials I've decided to use Dawn because the cooldown re reduction is better than uh, this, the, this increased damage for me you can try to use Calamity in, uh, in instead to see if it suits better for you uh, for a bit of toughness I'm using Visage of Guns uh, and Again, I'm, I'm, I try to use something else for a burst of damage, but unfortunately, I do not found, I do not find, found anything better. And as for the ring, I'm using Convention of Elements, which increases my damage for, to a single element for four seconds. And this is my build. Uh, if you enjoy it, please subscribe or like it. If not, and you have uh, anything to add please uh, add on my twitter account which will f which you'll find in the description or post a comment okay thank you guys for watching and don't forget to play embrace your power and you Won't go down either.